and welcome to the mechanical vibrations video lectures in this video lecture we are going to be solving the uh, natural frequency of a, a particular system vibrating system with the help of the energy methods as we know that energy methods are saying that the total energy of the system is always constant but that energy can exist in terms of the partially kinetic energy plus partially potential energy that's equal to the constant right that's we are going to be checking here so here is the problem a circular cylinder see the circular cylinder of mass 4 kg right this is going to be the circular cylinder as the mass of 4 kg it is available and the next one the radius is going to be the 15 centimeters r is equal to be the 15 centimeters that is called 0.15 meters connected to a spring of stiffness 4000 newton meter that means it is connected to a spring one end of the spring is connected to the uh, cylinder circular cylinder and other end is going to be connected to the uh, wall and shown in figure it is uh, free to roll on a horizontal rough surface without any slip so that means this object is going to be starting uh, rolling on this horizontal surface and without uh, having any slip we need to determine the frequency in this case what will happen we need to derive the natural frequency formula with the help of the equation of motion by using this total energy method so there we can see these are the different data is available already we discussed and this is going to be the natural frequency that we need to calculate the solution what it is saying that the total energy is equal to kinetic energy due to translatory motion plus kinetic energy due to rotational motion of this mass and potential energy of the spring so this spring is consist of the potential energy or the strain energy but this one is consist of two types of motion one is the translatory as well as the rotation so after certain interval of time this object is going to be reaching to this position suppose that means this object this is going to be elongating in this direction and it is going to be rolling in this way and moving in the translatory so that's kind of it what's the formula we do have that is going to be of m v square we do have that is going to be m into velocity square plus what is this one kinetic energy due to rotation that's we are getting mass moment of inertia into angular velocity into theta square plus what is the potential energy that's going to be of k x square right so in this case x terminologies and theta terminologies are there that's we need to convert it into one form so that i'm going to be taking here is going to be so here this is the point after certain interval of time it is reached to the another position by using the a rolling motion so then what happened i need to calculate now how much distance it is traveled from this point to this point so then what happened that is going to be x is equal to r theta once we are getting the r theta then i am going to be deriving with respect to time so that is going to be x is equal to, that is the velocity is equal to radius into angular velocity of the mass so these values i am going to be substituting in this equation so that i am going to be getting so from this equation we have written the a total energy of the system then i have substituted x that means x dot is going to be the velocity that is going to be r into angular velocity that i have substituted that's going to be we got it half mr square uh, theta dot square plus i is going to be the mass moment of inertia for this uh, uh, cylinder object so that's going to be half mr square into theta square so plus as we know that the kinetic energy that means here the potential energy of the spring half into so x is equal to be r square theta square i have substituted and after the simplification this equation i got it 3 by 4 m r square theta dot square plus half k r square theta square this is going to be the total energy possessed within this vibrating system as we know that the total energy is going to be constant so then what happened i am going to derive it with respect to time right that is equal to zero so from this equation that's we will get 3 by 4 m r square and this theta dot square that is going to be angular velocity that's going to be 2 into theta dot and theta is going to be deriving once again that is going to be acceleration we are going to be getting angular acceleration plus in this case half k r square we are getting these are the constant parameters and theta is the variable so that i'm going to be getting 2 theta and angular velocity of that rotating object so then further simplification we are getting the equation of motion from this one 3 by 2 mr square acceleration angular acceleration plus k r square 
angular displacement that is equal to zero. So from this one, so from this equation of motion, I am going to be taking the uh, circular frequency that's going to be omega n is equal to what is the formula would you have that's going to be square root of k by m in this case what is the k value that is going to be k r square and what is the m value that is the 3 by 2 m r square that's 2 is going to be come, come to the numerator that's going to be 2 k r square by 3 m r square r square is going to be cancelled finally from this equation I am going to be getting 2k by 3m I will get it. Once I am going to get it, then I will substitute in this natural frequency equation that is going to be fn is equal to 1 by 2 pi the square root of 2k by 3m. So we know the k is equal to how much? It is going to be k is equal to 4000 newton meters and m is going to be how much? 4 kg. So I am substituting in this equation 2 into 4000 by 3 into 4 kgs. So then the final value from this one we are getting 4.11 kgs. Fn. This is the natural frequency 4.11 of this vibrating system. This is only the natural frequency of the system. So this natural frequency of the system should not match with the force and frequency. So then if it is matching, the resonance will going to come, the system is going to be failed in terms of the pieces. That's why either you have to keep this uh, uh, external excitation or the external excitation frequency either less than this part or greater than this one. So that the system is going to be sustained for a long time. So you should not run the system at this natural frequency. Either you have to run that system below 4 or above 4.2. So that the system is going to be sustained long. That means the lifetime of the system is going to be much better. Thank you.